places to visit in Australia and the Pacific. Sydney is both a laid-back beachside town and a thriving metropolis that boasts some of the Southern Hemisphere's best surf, landmarks and activities. Whether you're looking to watch a show at the iconic Opera House, take to the waves at Bondi Beach or explore trendy areas like the Rocks and Darling Harbour, Sydney features something for everyone. Even Sydney sitters have an ideal mix of both worlds, fashion-forward attire and British-style sarcasm combined with a no-worries attitude and relaxed coastal vibe. It's no wonder this vibrant city down under is a natural choice for first-time Aussie visitors. How to save money in Sydney Stick to local brews Bar hopping in Sydney can get expensive, so conserve your bucks by ordering Australian beer like these and coolers. And remember, the drinking age here is 18. Avoid Aussie summer Although Australia's hot summer is December to February are ideal for those looking to warm up during the holidays, airfare to and from Sydney is at its peak. To maximize savings, try visiting during Sydney's shoulder seasons spring and fall which are from September through November and between March and May. What to eat with sizable European and A and immigrant populations, it's hardly surprising that much of Sydney's cuisine features elements of other cultures food traditions. Some of the region's top restaurants specialize in international fare, including Fortune Village Chinese Restaurant, Madwasa Creek Taverna and the Spice Room. The city also features multiple ethnic-specific districts, such as Haymarket's Chinatown area, the Italian-centric Lake Hard and Little Saigon in Kudramatis. If you'd rather forego the region's global cuisine in favor of something more Australian, you may struggle to find it. Getting around Sydney The best way to get around Sydney is by Sydney trains, formerly known as City Rail. While all Sydney's rail lines are easy for first-time users to navigate, the city's circle line is ideal for travelers looking to visit a number of the city's best things to do. Although the bus system has routes that crisscross the city, any traveling done on four wheels is at the mercy of Sydney traffic. Rental cars are recommended for driving to and from the city but not inside its boundaries since traffic is heavy and Aussies drive on the left side of the road, which can be confusing to American visitors. Walking is, of course, a wonderful way to explore any city, but Sydney is much too large to be done on foot alone. And a trip on a ferry is a must-do for the views alone.